finally figured that one out a couple times through. Red Rock and Chair is going to be the first song of the set here on the Fast Jam, the fourth Fast Jam of this new year. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, you're good and warmed up from the slow and the mid tempo jams. Okay. Well, like I mentioned, that first song is going to be the Red Rock and Chair in the key of G, but it's really E minor. It's a modal kind of G E minor thing. I'm just going to double check the live streams right quick. Looks like we are live on YouTube. Let's see how we're doing in Facebook land. Double check that. Okay, so this song starts on the E minor chord. And I would say it's probably actually in the key of E minor, but, uh, but I like to say G just because that's the position um, that we're playing out of. We don't have to alter our tuning or use a capo. So we got a E minor, E minor, one, da, 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 and a G, and E minor, and a G, and E minor. That's the whole thing. So what we'll do is we'll take it twice around for the kickoff. So let me find a click track and I will actually just demonstrate the kickoff all the way from the top. Okay, so here's how I might kick it off. One, two, one, two, three. Something like that. Okay, go ahead and get yourself ready and take a deep breath. Kick us off on Red Rock and Chair in E minor. One, two, one, two, three.
And we're off and running. Cool. I know there's more verses to that song, but I just couldn't think of them in the moment. And hey, we're jamming. I just wanted to get a little bit of playing in on the Red Rock and Chair. Take Me Into Life Boat is our next song. I do know all the lyrics of this one. Now, this one is good old Flat and Scruggs number in G. And uh, we're going to start it with the verse. So the verse will be the kickoff. And it goes. One and one, four and a one. One and one. happen when we pick it. So when we pick it, it'll just go... So in other words, it won't hold that five for an extra beat or two like it does during the vocal. And then the chorus goes, Take me in your life boat, or oh, take me in your life boat. It will stand the raging storm. Take me in your life boat, or oh, take me in your life boat. It will bear my spirit home. But the breaks are always on that verse. So let me demonstrate the kickoff one more time. Uh, after I find a good tempo here. Here we go. So I might kick it off this way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me try that again. One, two, three. Would have been okay, but I bet you'll do better. So go ahead and kick us off on Take Me In Your Life Boat in the key of G. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
take me in your lifeboat It will stand the raging storm Take me in your lifeboat Or take me in your lifeboat It will bear my spirit home Alright How's everyone doing out there? Are you with me on this Monday night? Hi, Corey, living good. Hi, Dave Green. Thank you for being here in Facebook land. And how about over on the YouTube channel? Mike LeBlue is back. Travis is back. Sandy is back. Jeffrey Boyle is back. And Sage Helperman is back. Right on. And Ty Van Valkenburg. Hello there, Mr. Van Valkenburg. Okay. Great. Nice to see you all here. Let's keep on playing. We got Patty on the TP and the key of G. <clears throat> Patty in the turnpike. <laughs> So that's all the changes for the song. And I'm gonna kick it off so you will hear me play the melody. And let's go, let's go four times through. It's the fast jam, we have time. Things go by a little quicker, right? So we'll keep it at this a reasonable tempo for Patty on the Turnpike, which can go by really, really fast. So here we go, I'll kick us off and we'll go four times through. Me, you, me, you, me, you, and me, you. And then you go ahead and tag it at the end. Patty on the turnpike in G.
All right. Well, how did you do? I give myself a B minus. Hopefully you all did better. And I just realized I got a little abrasion on my finger. Okay. Just playing too hard, I guess. Country Boy Rock and Roll. Good old song from Reno and Smiley. This is at least the second Reno and Smiley number of the evening. And this is kind of just like a blues in D, but it has a little twist to it. It goes. <clears throat> and ain't one and a one. A, a kickoff that I am going to play. And then we'll get right into singing. Okay? So you don't play anything till we get to. So that's your job on this intro is to catch where you enter. And we'll, we'll stay at about that tempo. So here's my kickoff. So you start strumming right where I nod in my head. One more time. So it's, I guess it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. It's like, I guess it's So it's like seven beats. But again, it's easier just to feel it than to count it. Okay? So here we go. I'm gonna kick us off on Country Boy Rock and Roll and I'm going to take the first break because I've got a thing that I do, again, sort of like the Don Reno version, and, and then you'll get at least a couple breaks on this, so don't you worry. Here we go. Country Boy Rock and Roll in the key of D. You can tell I'm from the country, see I'm from out of town, but I'm beginning to catch on, I'm letting my hair down, I've been a rockin'. I've been rolling. I guess to some folks I look foolish. Just let it make up fool out of me. I got it.
non-standard song but a fun fun and very goofy song written by Don Reno a little bit quick for that one I admit uh, but I was really trying to get that guitar break down he's capoed on the seventh fret or on the ninth fret no nah, seventh fret playing uh, D playing G position I'm fairly certain on that on that recording um, but I've heard tales otherwise Okay, um, now for some straight ahead bluegrass. I'm going back to old Kentucky. In the key of A, we'll capo two here. This will kick us up a couple notches on the tempo, but not too bad. Okay, there's our tempo. And how about okay? Doing a quick double check on everything. Seems like we're still running. Capo always pinches that low E string a little sharp. Back to Kentucky. And a one and four and one. And a one and a five. And a one and four and one. And a one, five and a one. This is how I might kick it off. One, two, three. Just trying to get it right, but that was pretty close. So go ahead and kick us off here on going back to old Kentucky in the key of A. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
Linda Lou, she is a beauty. Those pretty brown eyes love so well. I'm going back to old Kentucky. Never more to say farewell. I'm going back to old Kentucky. Then see my Linda Lou. I'm going back to old Kentucky. Where the skies are always blue, me than you. Fun. I just never get over that song. Okay, now we're going to get up to another tempo range for Big Mutton. So let's just hang out at this tempo range for a minute and do some warming up. things I do. Uh, <clears throat> so now I'll just play an A chord rhythm for a minute or so and let you kind of noodle around and warm up. One, two, three, four. Now that we're a little bit acclimated, during the fast jam, I start talking faster, everything starts moving faster, you're just on a faster pace. And it's interesting because in real life bluegrass, it's not that way. We go from ranging tempos, fast, slow, mid-tempo, throughout the course of a set. So this, this is, in so many ways, a simulation of real life. So I just wanted to acknowledge that for a moment. But it's an excellent uh, practice tool. <clears throat> so here we are on Big Mom in the key of A. And what we'll do is I will kick it off and let's play it four times through. So me, you, me, you, me, you, me, you, all the way through. And then you tag it at the end, okay? All right, take a deep breath. Remember you can lighten up on your, on your touch a little bit. And let's try to do this nice quick version of Big Mom. Here we go.
always a challenge, right? But it's a good challenge. Okay, a couple more songs. We're going up to B flat for Nobody's Lurb is Like Mine. Try to do this very precisely. I, I learned this trick a long time ago to kind of hold the strings down while you're putting the capo on to hopefully keep them nice and seated when that capo gets clamped down and you're not going to pull the string sharp. It seems to work fairly well that time. We get lucky. Okay, nobody's love is like mine. I'm cranking this up just a tiny click. Not much faster. And, you know, I'm not the naturally fast player. I've said this a million times. Uh, but I like to work on it, and I like to try to get there. Some players are just naturally very fast. The idea is you don't want to be too sloppy, though. you got to keep it within the realm of good sound. So push yourself, but keep it as clean as you can, too. So nobody's love is like mine goes. One and a one and four. One and a one and five. My kickoff will go something like one, two, three. Okay. So something like that. Go ahead and kick us off here on Nobody's Love Is Like Mine in the key of B flat. One, two. One, two, three. bit of bluegrass songwriting right they probably wrote that lyric love that is true as the ocean is blue but they didn't want to sing it every time because it's too wordy so they saved it for the last chorus because also 
mine on Facebook kind. Ocean, ocean kind of kind of rhymes with mine and all the other rhymes in the song. But anyway, it works. Ain't gonna work tomorrow. This will be our last song of the evening. And I will be back next Monday, so stay tuned. As I mentioned in previous uh, set list tonight, slow and mid-tempo jams, that I'm going to try to keep up on the website. So I'll at least, um, for those of you who don't keep up on my social media, you can at least check on the website to see if the jam is happening next week. Um, but but give me till at least midweek or maybe maybe the weekend before you before you double check. Um, and when I post those set lists, as I usually do on Friday or sometimes Thursday the week before, um, I will also update the site to reflect that at least the jam is happening. So those of you uh, who are not on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter can. Uh, keep up and see when if the jam will happen so we're gonna go uh, for next week and probably the next couple weeks for sure and I'll keep you posted from there as I travel around in my camper doing music and outdoor stuff crazy life we live I hope you all are doing okay out there and I hope many of you uh, didn't suffer from the flooding and everything that was going on out west here all right, ain't gonna work tomorrow. In B. One and one and one, and a one and five and one. Four and four and one, and a one and five and a one. That was horrible. So here's how I might kick it off. Let me try that again. Um, getting acclimated to the tempo here tonight, as many of you also probably are. So here's how I might kick it off that song. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. Here's how I might kick off Ain't Gonna Work Tomorrow. One, two, three. Okay, you're gonna do way better. Ain't gonna work tomorrow in the key of B. Go ahead and kick us off. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah. 
it's humbling, this kind of music. And it's also really, really fun when you get it right. How did you do on the Fast Jam? I hope you all did really well. Um, I'm going to keep on practicing, and I'm going to come on back next week and jam with you all again. Thank you so much for the donations. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for spreading the word. Thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. And uh, thanks for uh, listening to my music on Spotify and on uh, CD and vinyl and all those ways you get it. So thanks, everybody. Keep up with me at TylerGrant.com, and I'll see you next Monday.